Hey there, welcome back. We're joined now by Ginger with NetHealth. Thank you so much for stopping by here today. It's great to be here. Yeah, so we're talking about something very serious, you know. It's food safety. You want to know that, you know, what, when you're sitting down for dinner, whether it's at home or out at a restaurant, that it's all good, right? 100%, yes. It's, uh, food safety is something that still affects every American. Uh, still, the stats say one in six people get sick with a foodborne illness yearly, and that's, that's still an incredibly high number. It's not a fun sickness to have either. No, and it can be deadly. You know, at least 3,000 people die yearly of foodborne illness complications, and 128,000 are hospitalized. You know, so there's a good portion of us that are healthy that can withstand it, but there's there's way too many people that are have lifelong illness complications from it. So, what are some ways we can practice food safety? There's four core items that we can do, whether we're at home or what the restaurants need to do, uh, preparing our meals for us. It's you cook the foods to the correct temperatures, hold foods to the correct temperatures, uh, you clean, you know, clean and sanitize the food surfaces as well as our hands. Uh, you separate the raw protein items from ready-to-eat foods, uh, so proper separation, and even in the refrigerator, the proper storage order is important, so you don't have drippage into the food that do not get cooked you know so um, and then chilling cooling our foods down quickly uh, making sure that the transport right now especially from grocery store to home happens quickly so, or you have a cooler or an insulated container to keep the foods cold during transportation so cool it down uh, don't hold leftovers more than a week preferably about three or four days so with you know it being football season people are tailgating and they're having watch parties how long people always wonder can you leave the food out before you know, it's no good very very important question so foods that are um, brought out whether you're going to a potluck or you're going to the tailgate party and you do some advanced food preparation ahead of time where you cannot keep the food to the right temperatures you can work with four hours so from the time it's finished cooking you have four hours to consume it uh, before it needs to be thrown away there you go or make something tasty that's gone before that right <laughs> exactly <laughs> so uh, let's talk about the story of your dinner we've, we've heard about this learning exercise what should our viewers know about it absolutely so uh, September is National Food Safety Month um, and there the partnership for food safety uh, is putting on a campaign from now through December through our holiday season uh, to educate educate the consumers um, about you know how we can properly handle foods at home so they have incorporated uh, recipe cards with good food safety tips. Well, they've got some videos. Uh, they've got some kid activities that uh, can be filled out on like menu boards and things of that sort. Uh, for and they've got some materials for educators, for the teachers to educate the kids uh, during the school classrooms and things. So I uh, would encourage everybody to participate and log on if you could go to fightback.org and look up. Um, the food safety resources and watch the story of our dinner. Uh, it is something that every family should incorporate. Good information. And as always, where can people find more details about that? Absolutely. Health? Yes. So, NetHealth, you know, we're always there to educate as well. Um, you can find us at www.mynethealth.org or you can give us a phone call at 903 535 0037. All right, Ginger, thank you so much for that helpful information. Absolutely. Thank you.